big a factor was it in your decision to come to Union, the chance to be here in, in an England jersey? Yeah, certainly um, uh, England, England was a big big part of uh, coming over to, to Union. Um, you know, I mean, I've only played a handful of games, uh, so I'm thankful for the opportunity and hopefully, you know, I can learn a lot this week from the players in the camp. There's some uh, some very experienced players and, and some, you know, a lot of skill. So, you know, looking forward to training with different people and, and seeing how they play the game. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. Is that what it's about for you? So I've been different environments, so I've been different coaches and trying to be a sponge for as much information as you can. Yeah, that's it. I think everyone plays the game differently, so it'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see how you know the players look at the game and play it, and, and you know hopefully they can learn as much as as possible. Um, you know, in this next few days. I saw you tweeted you were buzzing to sing the national anthem again. <laughs> Proud of an Englishman, what does that mean to you? Oh yeah, I'm pretty patriotic. Um, always have been, especially living in Australia for five years. Uh, you certainly become more patriotic. So, uh, really looking forward to getting the anthem. You know, like I said, it's a real honour to represent your country. You know, in any sport, at any level. So, you know, looking forward to that. What have you learned in the, the first few months or so at Bath, and how difficult has it been? Yeah, learned a lot. Um, and you know, there's been times where it's, uh, it's been tough to grasp, but certainly, I think I'm getting there slowly. I'm just taking it week by week, trying to grow as a player, meeting some people along the way. So it's uh, it's not too bad. I can't complain. Who's been helping you out most? Uh, who in the players have sort of taken you under their wing and helped you the most? Uh, well, there's been quite a few. Uh, if I had to say one, probably. Uh, might laugh wearing an England jersey, but Francois Law, a South African, um, spent a lot of time with him. He's, uh, he's a great guy. And then I've got obviously George Ford and Kyle Eastman, who uh, I've known since being a young kid. So, uh, but everyone really. Uh, Neil Hartley, uh, one of our coaches at Bass, been wonderful for my development. So, you know, I'm surrounded by a lot of good people, which which makes it easy for me. I think Dave Atwood said that it's all about carries and you know big hits and things, but also you want to break down turnover, is that right? Yeah, mate, I've been, been dying for one of them. Uh, but Neil Hartley's told me to give up trying to get one, so um, so I, I, give, I give that a rest for a while. Um, but yeah, D Dave's a good guy as well, mate. We, we have some good fun, you know. I think it's important to balance um, you know the fun and, and the learning parts of the thing, and you know, we certainly do that at Bath. The biggest step up do you think it's going to be being in this environment compared to being at Bath? Yeah, I'm not sure. I, uh, we'll see on Friday night. Um, I mean, people have asked me if um, you know I'm nervous and, and whatever. Uh, it's not like it's not. I'm, I'm not a debutant really in terms of uh, international football. I played it at league. You know, it's going to be different, surely. Um, but you know, I'm looking forward to the atmosphere. As a player, you you, um, you play for 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 bigger games and tougher contests. So you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge.